Hey guys, welcome back to uh, video number two and we'll start building our coming soon page by uh, using the layout we previously created. So I have Espresso here opened with a very basic directory structure, CSS images and JS. And also I have a blank index HTML. So let's begin. Um, I'm gonna get rid of some of these. Let's give it a title of coming soon page. And we'll keep the references here to reset and styles.css. We have the HTML5 shim reference, and also uh, we're gonna load uh, jQuery. But that's gonna be um, later on. Right now, let's begin writing some markup. And we'll begin with the logo. So, uh, we'll do a header with a class of container and inside we'll do a link with an image. So this will point to index.html and the image will be an images logo PNG. Next up, we got to do the timer area. So I'll say div uh, with a class of timer area. And for starters, it will hold an h1 plus a paragraph. So the h1 is going to say we're coming soon. And this is just a placeholder paragraph. All right. Let's see. Next, uh, we have the sign up area. So We'll do a div with a class of container. Now I'm using container uh, for all of uh, the for all of the elements that will be centered on the page. Okay, so div container. Okay. And let's see, we'll have an H2 to put up this text. All right. And we'll follow up with the actual form. So we need to wrap this form in, in another div because we have uh, the rounded corners. So instead of doing an input with rounded corners, I'm gonna do form uh, div, sorry, with a class of form wrapper, and that's gonna hold form and the form. Let's see action. Let's do method. Now the form will hold two inputs. We'll say input type email. Name's gonna be sign up email. And also we'll give it an ID of sign up email. Okay. 
and we'll also add a placeholder. It's going to be enter your email address. All right, and we'll do an input type submit. Value will be notify me. And that's it for our form. Let's see what else do we have. We have the disclaimer text and we'll do that in the form of a footer. So footer, let's give it an ID, disclaimer, and all we have here is a paragraph which holds a span. So we'll put the blue star, this one, we'll put it inside the span and the paragraph we'll just say the rest of the text all right so that's it for the sign up let's quickly do the footer and we'll say footer with an id of main footer and this will simply hold two paragraphs Okay, one will be for this, for uh, the social links, and the other one will be for copyright. Okay, and that's it. Let's have a look. So we have the logo, the timer area, uh, the sign up, email address, the button, the disclaimer, and the footer. And this is all we need for the markup. Um, next up, let's uh, prep this a bit more and create the reset file. So go to the CSS folder, create a reset.css, and I'm gonna import uh, a reset file by Eric Mayer. You can find it at mayerweb.com Eric Tools CSS Reset. You can also Google it, uh, you'll find it pretty easy. Okay, now what this does, it, it sets margins and paddings and borders and stuff like that to zero so that we have a, a a clean canvas to work on, to work with. Uh, okay, let's see if we need to change anything. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. One addition that I'm gonna make though is change the style of the links. So I'm gonna say a and a hover and we'll say text decoration none since I don't want them to be underlined okay and then a hover or simply a I'm gonna say border bottom one pixel dotted All right and that's gonna create a nice dot effect under the links all right, quick cleanup. Okay, so now it's time to actually write the CSS for this, and we'll do that in the next video. So I'll see you there.